What's going on, guys? Back at you with some Spyro on Game Sages. Baby. Yeah, and actually dying last episode was not the worst thing because it led us right to this. And that death at the end of last episode, that was just stupid. I swear to you. It feels like, like I know if I was watching this, I would be like, he's doing this on purpose. I swear to you I'm not. I swear to you, this is just me sucking. It's yeah, awful, man. though. Um, I think we have the key now. We do have the key, we so we can get back key. up there. Yep. Yep. So we'll just keep going around and we'll make our way back up there. And I think there's 400 in this one, right? I don't know. Take a look. Yeah, okay. Uh, inventory, yep, 400. 400. So we have a long way to go. Two we dragons. Are barely scratching that 300 mark right now. Yeah, so I think these worlds are going to start taking two per episode now. You're actually right back at the beginning of the uh, level now. Really? Yep. Ulrich? I like that. Or that's a meh. That's a uh, Skyrim name. Really? Ulrich Stormcloak? Huh. Absolutely. I like it. I tell you, I've never played Skyrim, except for like the beginning, but I'm going to get it when it comes out for the Nintendo Switch. You I'm going to play better. it for the first My time. Gosh. Yeah. You are missing out, man. But the thing about Skyrim is, with a lot of games like that, it's just like, I really just cannot sit down in a room and play Skyrim because it's such a massive game. So is Breath of the Wild. Yeah, but that, that's Zelda. That's different for me because... Ow. Because Zelda is Zelda, and when I'm playing Zelda, I feel like I'm being like... Because I love Zelda. It's my childhood. It's my favorite game franchise. And uh, so when I'm playing Zelda, a new Zelda just came out. That's like the most hype I am for anything. So when I'm playing Breath of the Wild, I'm like, I'm loving every minute of this. I don't give a crap that I'm not doing anything else. This is what I want to be doing right now. But when I'm playing like Skyrim, I'm like, man, I'm kind of wasting my time. Which isn't a, a bad thing because it's, it's still a fantastic game. But... I don't know. I feel like having it on the Switch is going to make it much better for me to for me to play it. All right. Yeah, but where I do mean, I go if from it here? has to cross consoles to reach you, Austin, by yeah. God, it's going to cross on, consoles. On, like, the 12th port of Skyrim that they've had. <laughs> All right, where are we going from here? Uh, you can just start backtracking. I mean, front-tracking yeah. to the ending, I guess. Yeah, we can go to you the... You can go to the yeah. chest. Yeah, to the chest. How did you like that, that jump, those pro speedrunning tips? Yeah, yeah, I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. So, I appreciated it. Okay, we don't want to. We don't want to make the tease uh, not happen this episode. So, at the end of last episode, you said you were going to tell us about some more of the crappy customers you experienced yesterday. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's talk about those for a second. All right, there's this family that comes in like pretty frequently. Uh -huh. I kid you not. They are the cone heads. The Coneheads? Have you never seen that movie? I haven't. I know what we're doing after we record this. Watching The Coneheads is a comedy? It is a comedy. Yes. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I think the name is pretty self-explanatory though. They are cone-headed people. Yeah, okay. These people are coneheads. Really? Like, in every sense of the word. They are coneheads. Uh-huh. And you are dead. Yeah. For I, like the fifth time. In <laughs> I, I took a blind jump there. The guy was just like, I'm going to jump for it and see what happens. And death happened. But, uh, like, they get a crap ton of stuff every time. And that's every cashier's worst nightmare. Buy a crap ton of stuff. What, what's the ending price on their average purchase? Uh, I'm going to say, like, what well, varies really? Because you could have a crap ton of stuff. That could be, like, a bunch of, like, 99 cents crap. Yeah. It was ballsy, I'll give you that. <laughs> but, uh, oh my god. Alright, they had like a bunch of 99 cent crap, so it ended up being like, I think a little over 250 $250? Yeah. That's ridiculous still. And, yeah, they had like two buggies full of crap. Uh -huh. And uh, they're constantly just talking to each other. Like, at Walmart, we don't bag the items. I yeah. mean, we bag them, we don't put them in your, you know, uh -huh. we don't put them in your buggy for you. Yeah. So... For, like, me to have six bags on that little spindle uh -huh. and have to, uh, like, constantly, like, put them in places that they're not supposed to go because the customer is supposed to get them. Yeah. It's just really aggravating. Like, I had to pile those bags on top of each other time and time again. Every time those people come in, they do that. They just weren't filling up the bag? Yeah. And, like, while they're paying, they'll uh -huh. sit there and bag for, like, ten minutes. That's ridiculous. And I have to wait on them because I can't start bagging the other person's items uh -huh. until the bag thing is clear. Yeah. I always feel so bad. Like, when I ever, if I'm ever doing something and, like, I, I let the thing overflow and the uh, cashier doesn't have anywhere to put it and they just start stacking it on the thing. 
I'm always like, ooh, I'm a bad person. <laughs> okay, but we have been wandering ar around aimlessly for a little while now. So Do you want me to gem hunt for you? Yeah, I think we should cut here for a second until we uh, we find where we're going. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Ethan fell off the ledge. All right, I'm putting all right. that in. I'm putting. Oh! oh. <laughs> Wait, what? What does that mean? What does game over mean? I don't know. Wait, are we gonna lose our crap? Tell me, it doesn't take you take us back to the last save? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, go to inventory real quick. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, we okay. didn't. Oh my nice, god! Nice. All right, well, Spyro for the win. Whew. We'll, we'll be back when we find where we're going. And we're back, and Ethan, I think you learned a little something. It's not as easy as it looks. Uh, nah, it's still pretty easy. <laughs> but, nice. All right, so I'm, I'm glad we found this area. Nice because double kill. Gosh, double kill. Oh, there's the last dragon, too. Yep. All right, so Don't I, rush into it. Yeah. You don't even have sparks, man. Yeah, I know. I mean, who would have who lost him? Uh, couldn't tell you. <laughs> I tell you, sparks is very useful because these gems are just very very hard to get without him all right there's some bats here i'm gonna yes you're back nice all right awesome dude don't forget the poles the po oh yeah, yeah 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 i forgot about it. i did forget the poles but I i'll i'll get these guys because it i think it loops back around it does yeah because the dragon's right here that we saw mm -hmm. all right yeah <gasps> you're dead nice i, lo I love this <laughs> <laughs> Rang Rangar Ragnar. Ragnar Dude, have you ever watched Vikings? Vikings? I haven't. That is the name of the main character for the first bit of the movie, uh, series. The first bit? Ragnar of Lothbrook. What happens to Ragnar? I guess we shouldn't spoil it. Uh, yeah, it's been out for a while now. Yeah, so it's like if it gets spo spoilers, it's like if you're just like catching <laughs> up on it, Austin, you can post a time on when to jump to. Yeah, yeah. In post. Yeah. Uh,. Ragnar gets killed because he's hanging from a cage over a pit of snakes. Uh huh. And uh, they like stab him in the feet. And he's an old man by this point. Like, you've basically gone through his entire life story. Yeah. And uh, he's like, you know, my kids are coming for you, yada yada. Boom. And, uh, you know, they just drop him down in that pit of snakes. Dang. And he dies. All right. And okay, so yeah, this is the time I'll put it to come back, but we 100% of the world. So now we Did gotta, we? yeah, that's everything. Check it for me, please. Boom, baby. Nice. All right. Needed so, that validation. I'm glad to get out of here, to be honest. Like, you this know is, what? This has been a disaster. I'm glad. Yeah, here's the, this is the secret I showed you. Oh yeah? Yep, like that's where we are right now. Okay, so the entrance is right here then. Yep, so as a kid, I was like, how do you get up there? Uh huh. And you just never figured it out? Yep, just like, eh, oh well. Yeah, and you got everything. So, I mean, I guess if I was playing, I would just like be like, okay, I guess it's just aesthetic, yep. you know? Because you're like, I guess it's just there. There's really nothing yeah, up there. Yeah, as a kid, like not trying to 100% it, I was just like, eh, uh -huh. whatever. Yeah. Can't get up there, don't need to. Uh -huh. But you got to, now we have the internet. All right, bro. Um, Honestly, we're ready for... No, we're not ready for Dr. Shemp. What am I thinking? Yeah, we have to get this, hit this uh, target now, don't we? Nope. Really? Really, there's another level. Wow. Right over there. Over here? Yep, head into it, bro. Is that it? Uh, yep, Cliff, Cliff Town. Town. All right. Now, this town, I've actually done a bit of research on it. It was inspired by... Uh, 
Coruscant from Star Wars. Coruscant? Yes. Wait, what's Coruscant from Star Wars? It's the uh, world with the Jedi Temple on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's that's yeah. one thing I'm really not good about in Star Wars. I'm a big Star Wars fan, don't get yeah. me wrong. But the planet names, I'm really bad. I, like, maybe... Oh, turn around real quick for one sec. All right. I think you missed some gems. <laughs> really? You never do that. Huh. Not, no, not in there. On the oh. outside. Uh, got the camera. The camera guy would like keep up. Yeah, with you. the PS. It's the PS one. We'll give it. We'll give it a pat. Oh there wow. Okay. Th those would have been the last ones we got too, <laughs> if you didn't say that. Maybe I should just quit telling you. That way I can get some playing time of my own. I'm <laughs> honestly a little jealous to see you play yeah. this. Yeah. But whenever we play Spyro 2, you're gonna be the one playing well, it. That, is, that is your game. game. So don't worry. You're gonna get your your time in the Spyro spotlight after we finish this playthrough. Which I don't know what we're gonna do after this playthrough. Are we gonna do Undertale Genocide or are we gonna jump straight into Spyro and just kinda alternate? You know, I think we've had long enough a break from Undertale. Oh yeah? I think <laughs> I think it's time. Oh my god. After Spyro. I'm ready to get back we into We are freaking it. murdering that game. Yes, dude. Literally. You are going to love the genocide. Well, you're going to hate it, but it's going to be a great experience. <laughs> I'm going to love to hate it. Yes, it's going to be a great... I cannot wait to see your reaction oh, nice. to that. I love how like Spyro and Undertale are both polar opposites. Like You played Undertale, but I knew a lot about Undertale, and I, I was kind of there to guide you. We're just and, opposite yeah, ends of the spectrum, man. And it's opposite. You played Spyro. Now I'm playing, and you're guiding me. So I like the diversity we've had in these two series. Absolutely. Yeah, and then when we go back to the genocide run, we said that I was going to play that one, right? Because it's right, a right. much more difficult route. So that's crazy. And when we play Spyro 2, you're going to be playing. You know, maybe we can get... What was his name? Halvor. Halvor. Yeah. Eh. Let's rate that and then just get the... F out of here. All right, I'm gonna give it a meh. Meh? Yeah. I'll do you one better, Halvor. I'll give you a thumbs up. Wow, okay. All right, so I guess with that being said, we'll come back as friends in the next episode, hopefully. Yeah. I mean, probably not since we had that one disagreement, but. Wait, well, oh yeah, the Halvor. Okay, <laughs> I was like, what do we disagree on? All right, see you guys then.